Welcome to the channel, a Jaden Chase. Now, if you're new, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now, the wife of one of the security guards that was ambushed on Sunday by criminals has stepped forward to expose what seems to be the company itself. Now, she says, as a precaution, her husband and his team would delay the drop off by a couple of hours. And clearly, the criminals were there in wait, meaning they had the original scheduled time. Let me continue to go on the reasoning. Look at this. The fact that they would usually go to do this drop off at a later time, which is like after two, three o'clock period. However, they were told that they were having a meeting at the facility at two o'clock. So they were to go there earlier. My deal with this is how would these persons have gone in tail to state that they would have been earlier? Why would they have been there waiting on them at 1230 when they don't normally come that hour? Her husband is now recovering in hospital from injuries sustained in the shootout. But she fears he's not safe at the medical facility. These security officers need to move and need to move ASAP, like right now. Whether or not you guys decide to move them, I will have to try and move my spouse because I am not going to allow anybody to come and murder him, poison him, or kill him. I'm sorry, no, it's not going to work. We put the question of the earlier drop-off to the Director of Operations at Guardsman Group, Lieutenant Commander George Overton. The commander acknowledged that the situation raises serious questions, but would only say it's one of the areas which the company has been actively investigating. He declined to comment further on the record. But in addition to questioning the sequence of events which led to her husband being ambushed, Jane is accusing the guardsman group of abandoning the injured security guards. Jane fought back tears as she contemplated how she may not have been contacted had her husband been killed. We would want to know why is it that up to today, as I suppose, I have not been contacted. Neither has he been contacted to know how we move forward because recompensation, I mean, he's out of work. What is going to happen? Is it that he will not be paid? How, how is the process being done? Is it that if um, he has to move to get a surgery done or whatever, who will be paying for all of that? Bernie, the police force have the intel, have the intelligence of these things. There's a particular set of men who sign treaty, men from different gang divide and political divide who sign a treaty in general to start doing them things here. And they have literally weaved their way into the internal um, operations of guardsmen in general because the guardsmen and their guards are not, do, are not sitting well coming out of the court ruling the other day. Because they still now want to pay the people and them outstanding bumble clock money. And they still want to put them on one last ditch two year contract same way before them take them on and stop. So because of that, the men are vulnerable. They are susceptible to corruption. And if a man buy them and can get the fleet information and the movement of the fleets, them will, will carry money in general. This is something that the man them have and the man them not sit down. Police blood class sit down from bumble clock intelligence. All they can do a blood clot execute road traffic, blood clot accident can rake in bumble clock revenue and at the same time the gangs are left to feel blood clad confident so they can carry out the daylight attack down at pines and look further up the road even closer to general headquarters you have a character brazen blood clad thing like this and the response not not not, not start yet you know take place so obviously in other countries some things are not priority if you don't notice say the only for crime we are going to the murder it is not a talking point in terms of how the, the government are operating. You know? I mean, I'm coming up fucking GLP, PNP argument, you know. Me are coming just a national security crisis we find yourself, you know. But it seems as though a team or a delegation going to Haiti is far more important when we are becoming little Haiti, you know. It's like that demand them Nazi. Bernard, you, you said rightfully. They, they have the, they have the, the might you know, to can take on police, but the only difference is that because it now will be treated as an attack on the states, then you can call in internal, um, external forces now, like a call for aid from the US and them people. You understand, we ultimately go overpower the money, but at the end of the day, it is a deadly blood clot thing going on right now in another country. Everybody has turned a blind eye to turn to things. Though this is not something that can be easily explained away, this woman believes that because her husband normally well, him and his team 
have a precautionary measure that they would normally use during their drop-offs. And maybe those two hours made a major difference in what took place. Maybe if they were there at the time when they were supposed to be there, well, who knows what would have happened. Now this wife, being concerned about the safety of her husband, him co-workers and everybody else, will do a similar work for the company. They might want to have people them safe. Because clearly, most people believe that this was planned. I let them say, this was planned. Them know the time. How them come by the information, nobody don't know. I remember this is a security company. Them change them security measures from time to time. You can not sure say the route of them drive yesterday and the time where them come yesterday and the time where them go always did it. Or the route of them go always drive. These people are in the business of security. And them job to try to stay one step ahead of criminals. And to also keep the workings of their operations secret. So how them come by this information? This wife has put forward some very interesting statements. And this is an insider. Meaning somebody who actually knows somebody who work for the company. There's now become a situation where when people say this particular security company doing their drop-offs, nobody now wants to go nowhere near the ATM or any bank until they leave. Fearing that these individuals are being targeted and their safety will be compromised just by being in the vicinity. Talk to me in the comment section. Now on the other stories making headlines today. Now, condolences to the two females and the taxi driver whose lives were taken near Hero Circle. Now, the report is that the two women and the male taxi driver were heading to a party when they were pounced upon by gunmen traveling in another vehicle. It is said that the incident occurred at about 40 minutes past 10 and the victims reportedly were pronounced on the spot. Now, what is also strange is that the DSP confirmed that the deceased women were from the area. Let me continue to continue to the reason. Look at this. not <laughs> No, law enforcement also stated that no motive has yet been established, but detectives are working hard. And they have received some information. It is said that the women were going to the party but stopped at a particular location to get their makeup done. And that is where they were pounced upon by three men in a car. And clearly this was not a robbery situation. These individuals never that try to take these women's purse. They never that try to rob the taxi man. Then pull up, open fire, took the lives of three people. And with the women being from the area, the taxi driver does a dream job. No, 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 no. So, carry two women go on party. Them say they're going to stop you, so. Do their makeup and then go to the party. Now, where the people are call for more CCTV cameras following what took place in Portmore. But you don't feel like, say, in Jamaica in this day and age, certain historical sites, certain major cities would have CCTV cameras through a circle in such close proximity to so much government buildings I tell me say now cameras on these buildings is the state spending on the wrong thing when we talk about infrastructure we make the country appealing to foreign investors wouldn't security steady supply of utilities and infrastructure in the country 
be the best approach to make the country appealing to international investment? No, talk to me. What you believe? You know, I stated law enforcement are looking into the case. Condolences to the family. And Jamaica tired of these type of senseless killings. You have some people who say, we don't know what them do. But you can't take the law into your own hands. There's no way you can justify a, a person just taking the life of another person. And then in a self-defense. Talk to me in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe icon, then the bell icon, and of course, put it on all. And this is how you know you'll be notified of all fresh content. <laughs> as soon as fresh content is made available for you. Of course, if you want to drop a like on the video, share the video. Comment section open 24-7, never lucky yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts and comments and yes, your opinions there. Now, until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours, I'm going to live, love, and prosper. And stay tuned.